which queen will arrive in a little more than a month with her army of hive guardians. I will tell you nine weapons which will help you easily beat the campaign and its tougher, legendary version with ease. Let's start with my favorite, with a horde. This is a special ammo exotic grenade launcher that you can buy from exotic kiosk in the tower. It is very good for ad clear and blocking certain choke points when ads are rushing you. It is also very useful in doing chip damage to bosses and yellow bars due to its damage over time effect. Next, Arbalest. This is a special ammo linear fusion rifle that you can get randomly from exotic engrams. It is very effective in breaking any type of shield, even in very difficult PvE content. Arbalest also breaks barrier champion bubbles, which will be very handy in tougher version of Witch Queen campaign. Next, Le Monarch. This is a void primary ammo bow that you can buy from exotic kiosk in the tower. This bow spreads poison void damage to the target and nearby enemies, if you hit headshot with fully charged arrow. Le Monarch is very effective for ad clear and chip damage to bosses or yellow bars. I had a lot of fun using this in Grandmasters and missions like Presage or Harbinger. Next, Nightwatch with Explosive Payload. This weapon is a 200 rounds per minute scout rifle. This can roll with explosive payload which helps you do extra damage. You can also take out annoying enemies from a very long distance, in case you have to play passive during the legendary version of Witch Queen. This is a random world loot drop. Next, the Lament. This is an exotic sword great for boss damage and deleting yellow bars or champions. Lament also cuts barrier champion bubble like hot knife in butter. You get this by doing the quest Lost Lament in Beyond Light expansion. If you are finding this information useful so far, like this video so that more people can watch and benefit from this. Next, Falling Guillotine. This legendary sword is a worthy brother of the Lament. Even though Whirlwind Blade got a nerf a while ago, this sword is still good for ad clear, boss damage and yellow bars. This does not take up exotic slots so that you can use other exotics. Next, any grenade launcher with blinding nades. Grenade launcher like ignition code can roll with this perk which blinds enemies for short duration. This has been a go-to option for a long time for players who are grinding difficult PvE content. You can farm ignition code using prismatic recaster in helm and focusing umbral engrams from season of the splicer. Next, threaded needle. This is a legendary linear fusion rifle which can roll with auto-loading holster and vorpal weapon. It is awesome for boss damage even without artifact mods like particle deconstruction. This weapon pairs extremely well with Wither Horde. You can farm this gun by focusing umbral engrams from Season of the Chosen. Next, Rocket Launcher with Vorpal Weapon or Lasting Impression. If you own Gyala Horn, you own the best rocket period. If you don't have that, then you should get rocket launchers like Hezen Vengeance from Vault of Glass with Vorpal Weapon or Lasting Impression. Also you can get Royal Entry or Code Dweller with Lasting Impression. Before wrapping up this video, there is one honorable mention which is Anarchy. Even though, Anarchy is not as strong as before, it is still usable for chip damage. Just don't expect to melt bosses with it.